At least six employees of the Antigua Port Authority were rushed to hospital on Monday after developing respiratory problems, resulting from gas fumes that hung in the atmosphere. It caused employees of both the port and neighboring Antigua Distillery Limited to abandon their duties and head for safety. After more than an hour of waiting to determine the source of the problem, members of staff were told their exposure to the gas resulted from someone who was emptying the contents of a 50-pound gas cylinder. ABS News spoke to Assistant Superintendent of Police Weeks of the St. John's Fire Station. The fire department been uh, um, been called to the scene at the, the Western Israel Point Dock. And um, having arrived at the scene, we realized that there's a situation where it's involved a, a container. It's a 150 um, um, container containment, and that container um, contain, contain um, ethylene McCoulton. Right, and that and that um, cylinder was owned by a gentleman who worked with the Western Design. He, what he was doing, he was uh, releasing some of the the what the content in the cylinder to, to for transportation because it of, of the weight capacity. Uh, while doing so, that's because he was doing it from a upwind direction where we have an easterly direction. That um, wind take that um, smell right into the the, the, the port. Ethyl mercaptan is added to odorless fuels such as LPG and fuel systems as a warning agent in the event of leakage or spills. As investigations were being carried out, the port's management determined that in the interest of safety, the facility will remain closed and employees will be sent home, except for a skeleton staff. Senator David Messiah of the Antigua and Barbuda Workers' Union, who was on site, held discussions with management officials and expressed satisfaction that the executive's main priority was the safety of the staff. We made sure that we had the discussions with the staff and um, in the best interest for the employees that are there. Both, um, the, both unions have decided with management that um, we will see a skeleton staff more or less operating um, this afternoon to more or less to assure that the ship do get the, the containers offloaded and um, the rest of the people would um, go, go home. Um, we feel that management has put in place uh, a contingent plan here in, in regards to ensuring that um, anything, anyone else that seems to, to maybe come down with any sort of um, sickness following this situation, of course they'll be, be looked after and I think with what the management has done in regards to seeking to have the expert uh, more or less sanitize the area or check the area to, to see that um, whatever um, toxic fume that might be in the air would have been removed. Um, that was done and we are satisfied that that um, basically was done to the best interest of the employees. Chief Health Inspector Lionel Michael and his team from the Central Board of Health has carried out on-site testing of the air quality in the area and has determined it is safe for employees to return to work. He says the testing carried out was to determine the levels of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. And they were way below any any harmful levels they were within acceptable range in fact they were background levels readings um, i think what has accounted for that is the degree of ventilation at the port the amount of breeze that, are, that is blowing and um, the velocity of the breeze and so on that has caused the chemical whatever chemical um, that, 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 that was that was spilling that um, caused the chemical to dissipate and therefore you wouldn't, we, have, we were not able to detect any high concentration of carbon monoxide in the atmosphere that would impact, negatively impact human health. So generally we think that um, the, 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 the place is, is suitable for, for work. Antigua Distillery Limited reportedly discontinued pumping water from the sea for purification on Monday following the incident. They are also said to be conducting tests. An employee of Antigua Distillery Limited who was on the port's compound was among those rushed to hospital. He sustained injuries after a car reportedly ran over his foot while employees were evacuating the scene. For ABS News, I am Phil George reporting.